Hello friends, welcome to Live Traveling. Today, we'll see Zayuadneo, Mexico Complete Travel Guide Things to do Zayuadneo, Mexico on the Pacific coast of the state of Guerrero Zayuadneo is a quiet coastal village on a protected bay near the built-up resort of Ixtapa. The bay burrows deep inland, which leaves Zayuadneo's beaches with mostly gentle, aquamarine waters to float and snorkeling in. The hinterland has the last summits of the Sierra Madre del Sur, and there are Mesoamerican vestiges close by at Zawakan. As opposed to Ixtapa's high-rise self-contained hotel resorts, the accommodation is more boutique in Zayuadneo, allowing you to see the bay under your own steam and with the help of water taxis from the main pier. If you know the Shawshank Redemption, you'll recognize Zayuadneo as the tropical idol where Red meets Andy Dufresne at the end. 1. Playa La Ropa At more than 1.5 kilometers, Playa La Ropa is the longest in the Zayuadneo Bay and has fine light sand on a gentle crescent. The surf can be lively, but is rarely out of hand, while there's a low gradient so children will be safe. The warm water suits swimming and snorkeling and you try bodyboarding on the thigh-high rolling waves. Underwater you can spot a brilliant array of fish, and if you're just resting on the shore a pelican will catch your eye from time to time. There's a multitude of beach bars and restaurants at Playa La Ropa, serving the sun loungers and also renting out water sports equipment. As with almost every beach in Zayuadneo Playa La Ropa has spa tents and massagers roving along the shore offering their skills. 2. Playa Las Gatas In a small nook on the south side of the Zayuadneo Bay, Playa Las Gatas can take a while to reach on foot. You might be better off catching one of the skiffs from the main pier on the resort's waterfront, shuttling across the bay five times an hour. Every inch of this narrow beach is traced by parasols and sun loungers, managed by the 12 beach bars and restaurants amid the palms behind. Playa Las Gatas is oriented towards Zayuadneo, and you can see the resort framed by the last peaks of the Sierra Madre del Sur. One of the best beaches for swimming or just floating around, Playa Las Gatas is lapped by low waves that graduate to small swells attracting a few surfers in summer. There's a lighthouse on the promontory at the entrance to the bay, reached by a winding trail. 3. Ixtapa Island at Playa Linda You can catch a water taxi out to this unpopulated islet, 50 pesos for a return. Ixtapa Island has four beaches, each with a different orientation, but all screened from the brunt of the Pacific Ocean. The pick of the beaches is Playa Quacalalate, which faces the mainland and has a shallow arc of dark sand, palm sunshades, sun loungers and five beach bars to the rear for fajitas, tacos and an ice-cold beer. Moments away on foot, Playa Coral is in a large cove with a reef that has vibrant underwater life, so remember to bring your snorkeling gear. More remote, Playa Cary is loved by naturists, while the sandy Playa Veradero is a good alternative to Quacalalate with the calmest waters of all. For Zawakan also known as La Soledad de Maciel, Zawakan is an archaeological site not far along the coast to the southeast. This settlement was occupied for more than 3,000 years by three different cultures, Tamales, Quidditicos and Tepazticas, while excavation work only began as recently as 2007. A small museum has been set up on the site offering context about the monuments that have been uncovered so far and presenting artifacts like steels, ball court hoops, jewelry and the contents of a burial chamber. At the site there's a massive ball court, possibly the largest of any Mesoamerican site, the base of a pyramid covering one hectare and a rise with rock carvings and what may be an altar for sacrifices. 5. Diving with its warm seas and vibrant marine life, it's no shock that Zayuadneo is a big-time diving destination. There are seven dive centers in the Ixtapa Zayuadneo area. If you're new to the activity you couldn't wish for a better place to make your first open water dive. You could get your PADA certification in a matter of days, while kids can learn the ropes on a bubble maker course. You may already have many hours of dives under your belt, in which case Zayuadneo is a two-tank diving playground. Underwater temperatures push 28 degrees Celsius from June to October, and diving in canyons and coral reefs you may see whale sharks, seahorses, manta rays, dolphins, sea turtles, sharks, and moray eels. 6. Water sports If you have a snorkel and flippers you can slip into the rockier parts of Zayuadneo's beaches to glimpse an incredible variety of underwater life just meters from the shore. This equipment can also be rented, and almost every beach on this list also offers an array of gear, from jet skis to kayaks. The currents in the bay are light enough that you could embark on a half-day guided kayak tour. 
you could combine this with snorkeling to view the sea urchins and sea cucumbers that make their homes on the seawall protecting the bay. 7. Paseo del Pescador This waterfront promenade curls around the bay in Zewadaneo, beginning at the municipal pier and ending on the east side of Playa Madera. As you go you'll happen upon handicraft shops, restaurants and bars, all under the shade of coconut palms. If you want a real slice of local life show up early in the morning, between 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock, when fishermen lay out their catches on tarps. This can be anything from snapper to shrimp, crabs, swordfish or tuna. Later in the day you could take the weight off at an outdoor cafe table and watch the fish leaping in the bay. 8. Playa El Palmer No two beaches in Zewadaneo Extapa area are the same, and Playa El Palmer on the main drag in Extapa is the most commercialized of all. This can have its advantages, especially if you're in one of the all-inclusive hotels beside it and only need to take a few steps to be on the sand. Playa El Palmer is more open to the Pacific than the other examples on this list, so children will need to be supervised as the undertow can be sharp, the upside is that if you can handle yourself in the water you can body surf on the waves, and you may catch sight of a humpback or grey whale from the shore between November and April. 9. Playa Quieta away from the tourist drag, Playa Quieta is 15 minutes west of Zewadaneo, looking out towards Ixtapa Island. Unlike most of the others on this list, tourist development is so low impact you may not even know it's there. Playa Quieta has little more than a branch of Club Med towards the southern end. The remainder of the beach is just open sand, with little palm shelters behind where people come for picnics. You'll need to bring your own provisions, or make the short walk up to one of the restaurants at the nearby Playa Linda. 10. Costa Grande Archaeological Museum right on Paseo del Pescador is a small museum chronicling the pre-Hispanic settlements and cultures on the Costa Grande, which includes a 325-kilometer stretch of coastline but also large tracts of the hinterland. In six rooms, there are pieces from the Mexica, Olmec, Tarascan, and Teotihuacan cultures. Among the fascinating artifacts is a bracelet of copper bells and a decorated conch, which would have been used in ceremonies. You can also pour over obsidian utensils, clay figurines and ceramic vessels, and find out about the sophisticated trade networks that connected the modern-day Costa Grande with the rest of Mesoamerica. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe.